a long time ago in a horror galaxy far, far away. <laughs> the graphics kind of look like claymation. At least in, in this little cutscene, it's kind of cool. This is pretty nice for an indie horror game. All right. Coming up on a Star Destroyer. Almost there. I found the Star Destroyer. And they got voice actors. I don't have to read. Look at the lighting. <laughs> I'm telling you, it looks like, it kind of looks like claymation. Damn, it's terribly damaged. The lights are off. It seems abandoned. I get close. I love the style though. Okay, so I'm assuming the Star Destroyer has been abandoned or something happened and now we're going to investigate it. All right, we're in. What in the hell happened here? There's blood everywhere. Something serious has happened. I proceed to inspect the corridors. I proceed to inspect the corridors. Someone's going to twitch. I'm waiting for the eyes to open up. Yes. Oh, it's on. I don't know what the legalities are of this. <laughs> I feel like, I mean, we didn't make it. We're just playing it. But uh, I don't think Disney would be too pleased with the Star Wars third party game that they didn't approve of. God, that looks cool. Zombies meet Star Wars. Star Wars Death Troopers. Rated R. The first R-rated Star Wars movie. I think they're all, aren't they all like PG? Aren't Star Wars movies, at least the original ones? I thought they were all PG back in the day. I don't even think they were PG-13. It's a hell of an intro. Uh, explore the corridors. Oh, dude. What does this remind me of? Dead Space. It kind of looks like Dead Space meets Star Wars. All right. So here we go. We're on the Death Star. Clearly something bad has happened here. Oh, I walked like 10 feet. Is this another cutscene? Please proceed to the next cutscene. slow turn he was my friend we trained together nope it, it's on dude I got the I got the worst fucking aim dude what the hell Dude, it's like I have that stormtrooper aim. Actually, I, it doesn't even feel like I'm connecting. Like, I definitely have the... Maybe that's the point. 
They were supposed to have bad aim because we're, you know, we're a stormtrooper. Oh my god! I was starting to think that we couldn't actually kill them. Yes, that's right. Get stuck on the door. You stay right there. Oh shit! Ah, go back! I thought I could shimmy between them. Dude, it, the aim is so bad. No! Doop. Doop. I'm just trying to juke him out. Uh, I can't go that way. Dude, we're on a timer. Maybe I can take out their legs. I don't know because like the, sh the shooting doesn't do anything. I mean, eventually it kills them, but I don't got time to stay. Oh my fucking God. Come on. I'm, I'm fucking dead. They got me. They got me. I can only shoot like a few rounds and then it has to like recharge. Headshots. Dude, did you see the one that I shot? You, you, you saw all those zombies in the hallway. You think I have enough time to shoot every one of them? Seven to eight times in the head? I can't even shoot right now. There we go. I gotta wait for my uh, gun to charge up. Nope, still, still can't shoot. Dude, we have like, lim we get like maybe 10 shots and then you have to wait to recharge. I got one shot right there. Dude, I don't, I don't know, man. Yeah. There's, there's way too many. Is there another attack? I'm not gonna be able to do this, dude. Like, it's almost like there needs to be another, another way to attack somebody. Okay, boom, can't shoot. So we're just surviving as long as we can, is what it said. But uh, like shooting is like not effective at all. Like it's, it's not even worth it to like shoot one when you have 20 more of them. All right, I'm gonna have to resort to COD zombie tactics. I'm gonna have to train them up, just like in COD zombies. I got this. I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, uh, camera's on his back. Okay. Nope. Hey, they got me again. <laughs> ah. Yeah, we got we got to keep a crawler alive. Does anybody know where the mystery box is? Oh. Apparently you can hold the the mouse button down for rapid fire. I was one shot them Well, this changes everything All right, okay, 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 okay. I'm not as helpless as I thought I was Oh, this is way better <laughs> This is actually fun Oh, we got a cool down it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I wonder what happens like after the countdown. Like, we gotta survive as long as we can, but like, is there an end to it? Is there another round? Oh my God, this is so much better. Gotta be careful because we have to recharge. All right, we got to find Juggernog and hopefully we can get to the pack a punch. Sorry, I'm just, I'm so hyped for zombies this year. This is the first time we've had a Treyarch, a Treyarch zombies game in like four years. Dude, I, the camera keeps getting tucked behind him. I can't see what I'm doing. 
I just I hope to God Treyarch knocks it out of the park. They've had no no studio has ever had four years to work on one Call of Duty. So hopefully they don't waste that opportunity to make something great. Oh, oh shit, gotta recharge. Hold on. Dude, I think, look, I'm not making any promises, but I, I feel like I can do this. Even with Stormtrooper aim. And do you think it's all Stormtroopers? What if we get to the end of the countdown and then a zombie Darth Vader comes out of nowhere and we have to fight him? Zombie Luke Skywalker. Dude, all we have to do is survive. I'm just going to play it as safe as I can. I still feel like we should have more weapons. Dude, we're under two minutes. Maybe there is a mystery box. <laughs> Zom zombie Jawas. Oopity. Yeah, it's same here. Um, when I first got into Call of Duty, Black Ops 1 was my first Call of Duty that I, that I ever played. All my friends insisted on playing multiplayer, but when we weren't playing together, I started playing zombies in my own time. And then I got them all into zombies because I fell in love with zombies. And then we started playing that more than actual multiplayer. Look, man, if you're just going to hold that door and block them from coming in, I'm not going to complain. You're doing great. I can't even kill him, can I? Oh, shit. <laughs> I think he's bugged out, but it looks like he's muta mutating. Oh, there was like, there was two stormtroopers overlapping. It looked like something from Dead Space, but I think it was a visual bug. All right, 20 seconds. I just want to see what the ending's like. Or am I supposed to be... I don't think I need to go anywhere. I mean, the countdown timer just said survive. I didn't try to like progress through this area to like look for stuff. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Dude, I'm waiting for zombie Darth Vader. Fighting stormtroopers. Oh my god. Please tell me we actually get to fight him. You can see his like zombie face through the mask. Oh, it's on. Right? Oh, please don't please tell me it's not the end of the game. Is that us? Oh, I, I bet you that's it. I bet we don't even get to fight him. I'm pretty sure that's us chopped in half. Oh, man. Man. 
then well you gotta understand sometimes it's the things that you don't see that makes it even scarier no i wanted to see darth vader zombie darth vader slice a stormtrooper in half we couldn't fight him could we at least get that uh i think it is a demo we have nightmare mode that was not that bad i feel like we could try nightmare mode you want to give that a shot we can we can we can do nightmare mode i'm just a little disappointed that we didn't get to fight zombie darth vader i will say that the concept is great they put a lot of work into a very very simple game i just i wish there was more like maybe more rounds different style of enemies like the first round is uh what like five minutes of stormtroopers and then you you proceed to the next area and then you get different enemies and then eventually it leads to an actual boss fight against darth vader i think there's another cut scene isn't there wait a second there were no droids in the last at least not that i've seen what's he doing Wow, nightmare mode's not that bad. I thought it'd be much harder than this. Oh, there we go. I knew there was another cutscene. I just didn't know how to trigger it. I think the cinematics of the game are actually longer than the game itself. I think there's more than five minutes of cutscenes here. And then the gameplay is just survive for five minutes. Yeah, like an interactive short movie. Like they made a movie and then they gave you a chance to kill some stuff in between scenes. All right, this is nightmare mode. It's probably like one swipe and dead. We just got to play it safe. All right, well, so far. This is a sweet spot right here because they get stuck on the door, but I also have nowhere to run. Look, I'm not against exploiting games, right? So it's not my fault they're getting stuck on the door and I'm gonna use that to my advantage. But Swole, that's not how you're supposed to play. How do I know? I didn't make the game. All I'm doing is playing the game that's provided to me. And in this game, the, the stormtroopers get stuck on the door and makes it easier for me to kill them. Maybe, th maybe that's the way it's intended. That's not, that's not for me to decide. I just play what's in front of me. Is there a reload like ahead of time? I don't think there is. Now they're walking away from me. Yeah, let me get a fresh reload. I hate that I can't see sometimes. I'm trying to empty out the ammo to get like a fresh reload before they all swarm me. There we go. They ought to be a little bit closer. We stormtroopers don't have the best of aim. The good thing about this spot is there's no doors behind me. So I don't have to worry about this one way. Dude, we're, we're down to like two minutes. Dude, thank God. I, I know why I... Well, first of all, I don't know why I didn't try holding the mouse button down to begin with. And then when I did, I don't know what made me think, like, let me just hold down the mouse button and see what happens. Graphically, I mean, this looks great for an indie game. It's probably a one-person studio. They were like, after we filmed all the cutscenes, I realized I had no more budget for game. So enjoy these five minutes that are provided to you. I'm guessing nightmare mode probably has the same ending with Darth Vader's regular mode. Yeah, this is like, if you guys want to play this game, I'm not exactly sure where this is. It's where it's near where we started, but this is definitely a sweet spot. 20 seconds left. Can't see, can't see. There's one coming around the corner right here. That's it. Nightmare mode, guys. Nightmare mode. <laughs> like shooting fish in a barrel. I'll watch this again. This is pretty cool. Is it fair to say that nightmare mode was actually easier than the normal mode? 
Look at the camera work. That's it. So we can assume that Darth Vader sliced him in half with the lightsaber and then hung him on a hook. Well, half of him on a hook. Yeah, it would be cool if there was, instead of survive, you you have to fight your way through the Death Star and get to checkpoints. You know, have puzzles and, I mean, make it a real horror game. Maybe they didn't want to go too far with it in case it does get hit with a copyright strike and they have to take it down. Like, don't invest too much time for a game that no one's going to be able to play. All right, well, that's it. That is Death Troopers, a Star Wars horror game story.